A new film being released was written and directed by a Detroiter. It will also showcase talents from up and coming local actors. Joining us live is writer and director of the film Asbury Park, Ken Williams. Ken, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Yes, sir. So I took a look at the plot of your film. Uh, it's really touching on modern day topics and issues. Absolutely. Everyday life in the inner city. Mm, so uh, tell us uh, the name of this film. Tell us uh, the plot. Tell us what can we expect? Okay, Asbury Park is a coming of age film um, about just life in the inner city. Oftentimes, you know, we look at the stresses that we deal with as adults and dealing with everyday life, but oftentimes we don't look at it from a from a child perspective. And this film gives us the opportunity to do that. Um, with this film, these kids they 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 deal with different things like um, looking at things like police brutality looking at violence in the inner city, looking at police response times, um, and all these different factors influence the decision that they make throughout their lives. Ken, as you're describing the plot, and I'm looking at the trailer footage, it's reminding me of the, the, the series When They See Us that aired on Netflix. Does it have like a similar feel? You know what? Um, a similar feel just in terms of they both deal with reality. Um, and sometimes the reality is ugly. And both uh, when they see us and Asbury Park are a reflection of that reality. Absolutely. Okay, so this film was shot across Detroit. So it was shot at Asbury Park. Where else was it filmed? Um, it was shot um, throughout Michigan. Um, like I said, a lot of it, well, majority of it was shot in Detroit. Um, I had the opportunity to go back to my old neighborhood and actually shoot on the street Asbury Park. Um, but we, we were, you know, Jackson, shot some scenes in Jackson Prison, things up north, you know, we were looking all over the place, Detroit. Uh, Ken, um, you, you chose a lot of actors who are local. I, I think one of the actors uh, grew, uh, graduated from Renaissance High School. How did you go by picking the local talent, which I'm sure was a key factor? Well, definitely a key factor. Um, we did a casting call back in uh, March of 2019, and we had a lot of people come out. And honestly, it was hard to choose because there were so many talented kids here. Um, but, you know, we kind of sifted through and found the people that best fit the roles. And so we wound up with a ton of great actors. Um, oftentimes, people compare us to Hollywood, but people don't understand how many great actors there are in this industry. And hopefully, why we get the opportunity to see that. That's very true. And you said we're going to see this film. We're going to see, we're going to look at these issues from a child's point of view. What age range are we talking about for the uh, actors in the film? Um, we're talking about actors from the age of 12 um, to adulthood. Actually, you know what? Actually, a little bit younger because I've got a couple of 10 years old. So I'm sorry. So from about 10 years old on up. Okay. That will be interesting to see. Ken, thank you very much. And you can see the film Asbury Park at Imagine Theater in Royal Oak this Saturday at 8 p.m. So go ahead and check it out Saturday and Sunday. Go online to uh, get a ticket and support the film. Ken, thank you very much, sir. And actually, just before you go, yeah. our Royal Oak um, screening has sold out. Oh. Um, so, so people will need to view it um, online. They can actually go to ABP the movie com and get the screening information there. All right, good to know. And thank you for giving us that update. I look forward to checking it out. Have a good weekend, Ken. Thank you. Take care. We'll be.